My name is Lillian Sue. I'm a medical oncologist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center in Toronto, Canada. My name is David Hyman, and I'm the Chief of Early Drug Development at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York. My name is Ellie Van Allen. I'm a medical oncologist at Dana-Farber, and I run a genomics lab at Dana-Farber and the Broad Institute. We're really seeing an explosion of new techniques for clinical trials, what even defines a clinical trial, medicines that can treat rare and rare populations, but with increasing degrees of effectiveness. We would all agree that we're pretty much at the beginning of understanding sort of how to leverage all the big data sets that we have and the discoveries that are happening to really make a huge impact for precision medicine more broadly. And I think at this time, there's now a huge opportunity to bring all the players under one roof to have this discussion and sort of, and in essence, map out how we're going to answer this question over the next five to 10 years. We have an exciting agenda. We have uh, obviously precision medicine, but not just uh, precision medicine. We're used to seeing about molecular testing in the clinics. We have actually looking at real world data and how that precision medicine is actually applied. Uh, we're gonna learn how to actually extract records from electronic health records to learn from uh, that, to you know, apply precision medicine. We'll also have topics about unique clinical trial designs and how to drug very difficult drug targets. We want to hear perspectives from the regulatory agencies. We want to actually hear perspectives from the financial sector on what all this means to them and you know, how to make this much more um, interesting for the development of new drugs and new targets. So I think this is all going to be great and there are going to be a lot of important initiatives being highlighted during this meeting. Because AACR brings together everyone from basic science, translational science, and clinical medicine under one roof, it uniquely can actually bring all of the right players to the table to actually have the right conversations and develop the right collaborative science to move the field forward. I think a lot of the work is not just listening to lectures and listening to what is being developed or advanced in their own institution. It's really sharing the experience beyond the talks. The conversation behind the scenes and you know in the corridors probably is much, much, much more important than that because we can discuss a lot of things that are not being presented in lectures that can make that collaboration much more relevant and much more ready to go for the next step. So I think that's very important for the networking, for the collaborations and for the sharing of information. We have the ability now to really define biologic targets and develop optimal drugs to target them and to interdict those cancers. And I'm really excited about the ability to develop better drugs for existing genomic targets, to define new ones, to define new mechanisms to monitor response to therapy, and really to fundamentally reconceive of what we consider to be a clinical trial. We're doing a lot of these studies where we do multiple omics and high dimensional data and put it together to actually inform us beyond what a single gene or single target can tell us. And it seems difficult, but I think we are at the point where we're able to do that quite well. Looking carefully about ways to improve the design of precision medicine clinical trials, about ways to incorporate real world evidence and real world data into the incorporation of filing packages, clinical trials, really try to bring to bear all the resources that are out there to accelerate treatments to patients. Our hope is, is that young investigators can attend a conference like ours and really you know, be at the forefront of driving this new science. Not only will they benefit from hearing the state of the art in this area in precision medicine, drug development, machine learning, etc. They get to meet a lot of the experts in the field and create collaborations and networking because it's so new and because it involves people from different disciplines. We want to you know, be ex expanded and welcoming as possible. Everyone from the new investigators all the way on up to ACR president, Dr. Martis, who's one of the co-chairs of this conference, we're all trying to solve this problem in real time. And so the more you know, bright young minds we can bring to the table, the better. I think a lot of young investigators have great ideas that they need to have a venue to discuss that. And I think such a meeting is a great venue for that.